watching her, but she's looking at you. Hi beauties, so as you can tell this is a Rihanna inspired look from the This Is What You Came For music video. I hope you enjoy it. First I'm starting off by filling in my eyebrow. Well, I'm just going to do the whole entire like eye look on the eye that's not complete. So I'm um, starting on the eyebrows, just fill them in with a pencil and just going to brush them down after I filled them in and then I'm going to go ahead and apply some concealer to clean up around the brows. Her eyebrows are flawless, really, really neat. I can only try to get as close as possible to the, like, the neatness of her eyebrows in this video and I mean, just always slaying, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eye using the NYX eyeshadow base and skin tone. Then I set that with the translucent powder, just, just ensures that it stays longer and it doesn't crease. And then I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, which I love. And I'm using that shade that you just saw, which is semi-sweet in my crease area. That's going to be a great transition color for this nice kind of bronzy eye look that she had going on in this video, which I really love. And then from the same palette, I'm using Amaretto. And I'm going to apply that all over my lid. And actually, I'm not going to worry about a little bit of it getting in the crease area just because I kind of want the lid color and the crease color to have like a nice blend and kind of almost look like they go into each other. So then from the same palette, I'm using the color Creme Brulee on my lid as well. I'm using that in the inner corner area of my eyelid as well as the outer part of my eyelid. So the inner part and then the outer part and kind of leaving that middle more so with the other shade. Okay, and so obviously I'm just gonna blend along the way. And then I'm going ahead and using this, I believe it's a, either a NYX or Wet n Wild. I'll list it in the description box. It's a cream eyeliner pencil and I just went ahead and used that and then on top of that I went over with the creme brulee which is that gold color that I used as a second outer and inner lid color. Okay so I went in and applied some black eyeliner to my waterline just a little bit not too dramatic and then I'm going in my lower lash area and pretty much applying the same shades in the lower lash area but I also added triple fudge from the same palette just to add more depth to the eye look a little more dramatic feel to it and then I'm going to apply some mascara. I decided not to apply falsies. Rihanna did have falsies, but they were more like natural looking falsies and I only had dramatic in my stash right now. So I just went ahead and I'm using the Fiber Lash Extension Formula by Milani. And all you do is like I'm showing you here, I applied a layer of mascara, then applied the Fiber Lashes, then applied another layer of mascara. I'm doing that to my top and bottom lashes just to get as much length and fullness to my natural eyelashes for this look. Then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my face, which is a big part of this entire look for this video as well for her. Her skin looks so flawless and glowy and she just looked like a bronze goddess. So I'm just attempting to recreate that whole fresh and luminous look. And what I'm doing here with all the spots and dots is two concealers that I'm using as pre-coverage for all of my dark spots. And pre-coverage is important if you do want a more flawless makeup look, especially if you're using a drugstore foundation like I will be. I will be using the Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. It's a, a light to medium coverage in my opinion. I do not think that it comes anywhere close to like a full coverage. If you do not do any pre-coverage, you will see your dark spots or imperfections through the makeup. So I did my pre-coverage and then I'm going to go back and I'm not actually applying a really heavy amount of the Maybelline 
foundation, actually like a little bit heavier to like the darker spots on my neck and um, some on like the right side of my face. But other than that, everywhere else, I'm kind of wanting my skin to still, you know, kind of shine through a little bit. So then I'm gonna move on to my highlight and contour routine. I'm gonna apply my highlight where you would typically apply your highlight under your eyes, the middle of your forehead, bridge of your nose, top of your lip, and the middle of your chin. And as well as underneath where you're going to apply your contour. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out and then I'm gonna move on to showing you guys how I achieve a very similar contour and highlight as far as like illuminating the highlight and the contoured area for you guys, how she kind of did it in her video. Okay, so I'm gonna set the highlight and I'm just using a translucent powder by e.l.f., which I really love and it was in my favorites video. Make sure to go back and check out my favorites, my current favorites at this time. This was in there, very affordable, does the trick and does not have like a weird film when you're um, taking photos or there's a flash. I'm go ahead and sweep that off and then I'll move on to finally showing you guys the contour. Okay, so I'm using a shade, a, a contouring powder that is a couple shades darker than my skin tone, maybe a shade and a half. It's not very dark, but it definitely shows up very well, and I'm just going to apply it to my desired look for the contour, and she had pretty heavy contour, honestly, uh, and I really, really like that, actually. So I also decided to use the same powder to contour my nose a bit and I typically don't contour my nose but she does have a more narrow nose than I do. So I went ahead and applied some powder, kind of blended it in a bit and then obviously highlighted again the bridge of my nose. And for my blush, I'm using two blushes actually. It's a NYX blush and a Black Radiance blush, two really good blushes. One has a color pigment and the other is just more of like it's like a glow it's more like a golden shade and then on top of all that to really really make sure I'm glowing and I'm luminous as she was I used a illuminating palette by wet n wilds that I really love and on my lips I'm using two different products I'm using this matte by kiss New York and then over that I'm applying a Milani lip gloss and that's the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed the creative little tidbits in there. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more celebrity inspired makeup looks and you really liked this one, see you in the next one.